Hi, in this tutorial we're going to cover installation and usage of FTP and also configuring and using source mod. So first we're going to look at FTP. If you already have an FTP client then you can just skip ahead to the second part. The FTP client I like to use is called FileZilla. So just go to Google and Google FileZilla. Or just go to FileZillaProject.org. You want to download the client and just choose your operating system right here. Okay, so after you download it, it, just run it and click on file over here and click on site manager. Or you can just click on this little icon over here. And you want to click new site. We're going to name it game server. And now we have to put information for the host port and the logon. So this information can be found in your sign up email field. And for the port you want to put in 21. You want to change the logon type to normal, and here yet you just have to put your um, TC admin logon information. And there you have it. You're in your server. So now that we have um, FTP access to our server, we want to install source mod. The first step is downloading metamod. You can find this on sourcemm.net and you just click on the latest version over here and you just select any mirror whatever is closest to you okay just put it in, a, in whatever folder you want and now we need to get source mod and you do that by going to sourcemod.net and clicking on releases again get the latest release in this case we're getting um, the windows package because fragfest servers are hosted on windows Again, select any mirror you want and save it. And before I forget, we also have to make a uh, VDF file from Metamod. So you go back to uh, sourcemm.net and you click on make your VDF. Okay, select your operating system and select your game. In this case, we're installing source mod on a TF2 server, so I'm going to select Team Fortress and just click generate and save it in the same place as those other two uh, zip files that you just downloaded. Now that we've downloaded um, source mod and metamod, we're going to go and go ahead and extract them. So just use whatever program you have and extract them in any folder. And you're going to have an add-ons and a CFG folder. And you want to take the .vdf folder and move it into the add-ons folder. And now it's time to finally upload our files. So we're just going to drag and drop these. Select the add-ons and CFG folders and just drag and drop them into the TF folder on your server. And it takes quite a while. There's like seven or 800 files. If you get any errors in the process, it's most likely uh, because of the .exe files. Don't worry, these files aren't necessary for uh, source mod functioning. They're just there for compiling plugins, and you won't need to use those on the server. All right, so now that we're finished uploading, it's time to um, configure source mod a bit. You can see here that we have two failed transfers, but again, these are the two exe files, and don't worry about them. Um, they're just banned so that to avoid problems caused by people uploading malicious code. Okay, so you just want to go into the TF folder, simply double click, and you can see the add-ons folder we, that we just uploaded here. Okay, so just a um, quick general config here. You can see MOTD.TXE map list and map cycle. Map cycle is generally used for maps that you want, your main maps, maps that you want to be uh, shown when someone rocks the boat, for example, and map list is used generally for nominations. And to edit them, you can either download them and then edit them and re-upload them just by dragging and dropping or by going here and right-clicking, clicking upload. Here it's telling me if I want to overwrite, I'm going to say yes. Or you can just right-click them and click view slash edit. Okay, so now this is the map list. Um, say I don't want to have hydro on my map list. I'm just going to remove it. I'm going to save the file and
and then Fazla is going to ask me to re-upload it. And that's it. Just a quick note about changing server settings. For any change like this to apply to configs, you need to either restart the server or change the map. Otherwise, um, it won't be applied. Okay, so now let's go into the add-ons folder. You can see here a meta mod and source mod. We're going to go to source mod. And here, we can see all the different folders uh, that you're going to be using. You can check out the plugins folder. And here you'll find lots of .smx files. These are, this is the general extension for source mod plugins. So, we're going to check out the disabled folder now. You can see that there's map chooser, nominations, random cycle, and rock to vote. If you want rock to vote, you have to enable map chooser. And you can do this just by moving it out of the disabled folder and into the plugins folder. So you just drag it and drop it on, on this thing here, the dots here, on the root. Or you can move it like this into the plugins folder. Okay, and say we want nominations as well. So we're going to also move that into the plugins folder. Again, for these plugins to become active, we're going to have to restart the server or change the map. Okay, so now let's go back one level and let's go check out the configs. So what your first wonder, what your first um, priority might be is setting up admin access. So you can do this easily with admins underscore simple dot any. Just right click again, view slash edit. And you can see here that we have, uh, we have pretty much instructions on how to use it. Basically the best way to use it and how I use it is just putting in uh, steam IDs. So just take this format right here. This is steam ID of the admin that you want to add. And in brackets here, we're gonna put 99Z. And you want them to be surrounded by quotation marks. And also I'm gonna comment it as um, Rosef. This isn't my steam ID, but you get the point. Um, what this does is just, what the comment does is just, it, it's ignored by the codes. You, you can use it to label basically who's who, so you don't forget. Okay, so let's just break down break this down for you. 99, this is the immunity value. So basically an admin with an immunity value of 99 can execute a command on someone with, with an immunity value of 10, but not the other way around. And Z is just the access flag. And Z um, gives the person access to full, to every single admin command. So it only gives this to people you trust. Alternatively, you can specify different types of flags. So you can say, a, B, C, D, E. So now your next question might be, what do these flags mean? So you can go, you can go back to uh, FileZilla and just check out adminlevels.cfg. Again, view slash edit. We're not, we're not going to edit this one. We're just going to look at what it means. So you can see here that A is for reservation, B is for generic, C is kick, D is ban. So if you want some, someone to be able to ban players, you give them the D flag. If you want them to change uh, server variables, you give them the H flag and so on. Okay, so now we're just going to save this file and then it's going to re-upload it and we're going to say yes. So now we've added an admin to, to our list here.